what's going to happen this season? Obviously, we're very disappointed with that last year. Uh, we've had a lot of change in the summer. Um, yeah, and so, so it's been a completely different feel around the club. And um, yeah, we've had to have a look last season. You know, the, the, what caused us to be in that position? And if you have a look, we lost eight games last year um, with a three-point margin. And, uh, that's the difference really, and uh, especially in the league on like the Premiership now, with all the games being so competitive, uh, you can't afford to be uh, losing games as small as, as we did last year. But saying that, you know, we're into a new season now, there's an exciting fill around the group. As you said then, we've got some fantastic players in this team, and it's about getting consistency, and you know, that's something that we hear about Gloucester every single year, year in, year out. But, um, that's a good feel around the club now, and uh, we're looking forward to a tough season. We're well, talking about consistency. This is a team that uh, that smashed Toulouse last year. Fantastic, one of the best games of rugby I saw yeah. all last season. And then within a couple of weeks, you're losing at home to Newcastle. With, with respect to Newcastle, you shouldn't really have done. There are so many games that you just fail to, if you like, close out yeah. from winning positions. That must be so frustrating for you. Yeah, exactly. And that's the difference. Like you said, uh, you know, if we would have been Newcastle at home, being sale at home. You know, the, the, uh, the, the leagues are completely different, but I think we have a lot of young, young guys. I mean, you said we've got a lot of young, talented, like very exciting players, and that you know they, they, they'll be better for that experience last year. I think as a team, we all will be, and uh, you know having the fresh impetus of the coaches that we've got, and uh, you know the new players that we've got in, it, we're looking for an exciting year. But it's not just going to happen for Gloucester. You know, we just can't turn up and expect us to be winning games. It, it, it's going to come from a lot of hard work and. Every time we put on the jersey, that uh, you know it means something. We've got a great support, a great fan base, and uh, we've got to go out there and play with the passion that it deserves for Gloucester. I was down at Glossy the other day, and there was a, a general feeling of, of a clean slate, a fresh start. New director of rugby in, uh, in Nigel Davis. Mike Tindall's wearing a coach's hat, yeah. as well as a player. You've uh, you've got Ben Morgan now at the back of his scrum, yeah. and you've got a backs line to die for. So, is there a feeling as if what's happened in the past is gone, and uh, fresh start? Well, it has, it has to be. You know the. We're back into the season now. You know, last season feels a million miles away, but for the guys that are still there, you know, there'll be small stuff lingering in the mind that hopefully will motivate the guys uh, for next season. But yeah, we're into a new season now, a new campaign, and as I said before, you know, every team now is going to be very competitive next season. So we can't dwell on what's happened. We've got to look forward, learn from the experiences that we've all had from last season, and uh, use that uh, to our benefit this year. And uh, as you say, we, we've got Tins now with his coaching hat on, but I think first and foremost, he's a player with a coach's hat on, as opposed to a coach's hat on with a playing jersey. So, uh, you know, we've got him with his experience and stuff like that, with the exciting back line, the new signings we've got. You know, we've just got to put it all together next season. And here we are in front of uh, big Jim Hamilton, tattoos, beard, former Leicester player, bit of a bit of a dog still in there. Glossy need a bit of that, don't they, this season? Bit of dog? Yeah, I think so. I think me being captain is that added responsibility. Um, um, to stay disciplined because ultimately, as I said earlier to before, but uh, I need to be what I am. I am what I am naturally, and uh, you know, that's why Nigel's obviously put me to captain the team. And yeah, I think constantly, notoriously, you know, they, they want that little bit of dog and they want that commitment, and, and hopefully, that, you know, that's something that I'll bring naturally to the team. And uh, you know, I'm looking forward to, to my new role as captain. I'm looking forward to that responsibility, but I'm also looking forward mostly to getting stuck in and, and, and playing rugby. Now, having painted you as some sort of hairy to two monster from the woods. In fact, you even refer to yourself as a wolf <laughs> on Twitter. The other side of you is, you got married this summer, you've yeah. moved into a little little cottage in the country. Yeah. I can see it now, flowers outside, yeah. chimney smoking uh, away happily at night, uh, animals playing in the woods. Yeah. Um, that's the other side of Jim Hamilton. Exactly. It's, it's almost as picturesque as that, yeah. but uh, yeah, I, I obviously had, had a tough summer not going on tour, but also on the other side of that I got married which was amazing, I got time to spend with my family, I got a young boy Jack James at home so it was amazing to spend time with him, moved down to the countryside with my dog, chickens running about so it's a slight contrast to where I've been in my life before but you know it's amazing to be able to do that and you know uh, have a life like that with my family away from rugby so uh, don't let the, the tattoos and, and the beard fool you. <laughs> and finally, obviously, the suspension meant you missed uh, you missed Arnold Scotland. But yeah. Scotland are going well. They had a great tour, yeah. and presumably you play well for your club. You're, you're in the reckoning internationally, and Scotland appear to be uh, on a high. Yeah, it's always tough watching the guys go away to beat Australia, uh, Fiji, and Samoa. 
uh, and then win. It's like a bit of sweet thing feeling, isn't it? Obviously, you want the guys to win, but not being a part of it, it can be quite hard to take. But you know, and I'm well aware of the implications of what happened, and, and that happened. I'm really happy for the guys. And as you said, it's a cliche saying, "What will come will come," but. Ultimately, my job as captain is to play well for Gloucester and to go out there and uh, get some performances. And I'm sure if we do that, I'm sure the selectors will look at me and uh, I hope we'll be involved in some points in the season. Well, great. Well, enjoy your, your time at Gloucester as captain. Enjoy your time in the country with the chickens and the dogs and the wife. And uh, we'll catch up soon. Thanks very much.